So this is the fourth generation Maruti Suzuki Desire. It's an all new model as you can see. Proportions wise it is more or less still the same because it's a sub 4 meter sedan and you cannot go over that uh, dimension. Uh, it's an all new front, a more slightly more squarish looking one. New LED headlamps but this is the top variant so only the top two variants will get this headlamp. A much larger grill and a piano black finish bar on top. Looks sleek and looks very different. There has been comparison to some other uh, sub 4 meter sedan also but uh, it looks actually very different. If you come to the side again very similar silhouette like the earlier desire not much change there. The wheel size it still comes with 15 inch wheels these are 185 65 r15 these are the alloys the doors the size of the doors pretty very similar so is the ground clearance if you come at the rear again the design changes here at the rear more than in the profile it's got a very wide bar running across the new tail lamps here it gives it a more squattish more horizontal look boot size should also be the same this car is locked right now we'll also look at the interiors very quickly refreshed new interiors is what they are saying the biggest change that you will see here is the first in segment sunroof that comes along with the desire let us look at the dashboard clearly a lot more funkier a lot more premium than what it was earlier it has dual finish interiors comes with beige black and they've even tried to give it a fake wood finish here it actually looks nice the steering wheel very similar to what you get in the other uh, Maruti models, similar controls for cruise control, the media as well as for telephone. The instrument cluster is still a classic twin pod design with information at the center. Also for infotainment you get a large pop out screen like we've seen in other Maruti cars. I'm sure the AC and all we will be able to check once we are on the go. In front here you will get wireless charging pad two cup holders there's usb charging ports here as well now this gear shift if you see is for the amt this will not come with an automatic it will come with a five speed amt or a five speed manual in terms of powertrain the new swift desire will get a 1.2 liter petrol the petrol will be mated to a manual or an automatic automated manual transmission and uh, there will also be a CNG manual version as well. They are pegging the fuel efficiency of the petrol to over 24 kilometers per litre. The seats seem wide, mildly updated as well, but pretty similar to what you see in the earlier Desire. Now, one of the things you get is the sense of space that was there in the earlier Desire somewhat stays. We quickly look at the features at the rear seat as well. This seat, front seat has been heavily reclined, so but there is enough leg room. The hip room is more than what the uh, competition claims uh, to have give. So this Maruti claims that their hip room in the desire is much more. The seats still the similar size as what it was earlier. It comes with three pointed seat belt now, as you can see, and a center armrest as well. There are AC vents at the rear, uh, no controls. There are also two type C one Type-C and one USB charging port here in the front. This is for the rear passenger. Let us quickly look at the boot as well. Quite a spacious uh, boot, but then the desire has always been known for that. Uh, it also helps them with conversion when you have to put the CNG kit inside. The car will come with two levels or two different packages of uh, uh, accessorized packages that will come with the car and more details on the pricing will happen during the launch will be which will be on november 11th stay tuned with us with car and bike and we will also give you the drive details and other aspects of the car in the full review coming soon